Hola amigos, today we have a Honey Sweet Adventure in store! We're gonna learn about the importance of bees and the amazing world of honey! Hi, Miss B! Come on, let's go! Hi! Hi! Are you Derek? I'm Derek! Welcome to Honey Badger's Bee Farm! In Spanish, bee is called abeja and they make honey, miel. All right, Derek, so what is it that I'm gonna be wearing today while we're looking at the honeybee? This is a beekeeper's hat. This protects your face. How cute, and it's my favorite color, yellow. It matches. A honeybee hive is a big, special house where lots and lots of bees live together. It's their home, and in Spanish, a beehive is called a colmena. Before we interact with a beehive, we want to make sure we are nice and safe. Since we're not 100% professionals yet, we want to make sure we have on a veil, a jacket, gloves, and a professional beekeeper. Now, bees are very hardworking little builders. They don't expect strangers to come into their home. So beekeepers use a special smoke that's like a nice cloud. When the keepers use smoke, it makes the bees think, oh, there might be a fire. They become really busy trying to protect their honey and their babies instead of worrying about the beekeeper. So the beekeepers can visit the hives safely without bothering the bees too much. It's like giving them a little warning to get ready so everyone stays happy and safe. Hi, bees. So in this hive, there's approximately about 100,000 bees, and wow. I'm gonna open the top of them. Now the bees use propolis, which is honey and tree sap, to seal their hives. And you'll hear it, and it's a very sticky substance. So we'll pull this up, and there's a bunch of bees on here. Hi, girls. So these are worker bees, right? These are all females. Female, okay. And They're all girl bees. All girl bees. I'm looking for some boys. We might see some boys as we look down in the hive. And I'm gonna set their lid down. So all the worker bees are girl bees. Are girl bees. Got it. The queen is a girl and all the workers are girls. Got it. And this is considered a hive? This is a hive. A honeybee hive is a big special house where lots and lots of bees live together. It's their home. Imagine, the bees are like a big family. In this family, there are three main kinds of bees. The first is the queen bee. In Spanish, abeja reina. She's the bee who's in charge. Like a queen in a castle, she's the special bee that lays all the eggs. The next one is a worker bee, or in Spanish, abeja obrera. These bees are like the helpers. They do a lot of work, like collect nectar from flowers, make honey, and take care of the baby bees. Lastly, the drone bees. These bees are the boys of the bee family. They don't do as much work. So, the hive is like a big, buzzing bee house with a queen, workers, and drones. They all live together, working together to make honey and take care of their home. Let's go take a closer look. And this is a honey frame that I'm grabbing right now. Honey frame, okay. And it'll go up nice and gentle. Wow, look at all. Hello, ladies. Wow, you guys are doing such a good job. There's so many. So the top part of the frame right here that we're looking at, this is all capped honey. And then this is nectar, and we don't call it honey until it gets a cap on it. So this is ready to go and eat. This is nectar, they're still drying that out. So they're still working. Out. Wow, look at them, they're so cute. Do you see the bees? They have stripes on the backside. And they look kind of like they're yellow, right? Like a golden color. And if you look right here, this is a boy. Oh, that big one is a boy bee. So boys don't have stingers. Oh, boys don't have. And we can pick up a boy. So that's a boy. 
because he's a little bit bigger than the other. And you can see the difference in size. See how much bigger he is? So they don't have stingers, and he vibrates when you hold him, and he's got a really big face. Look how big his face is. You guys, always remember to never mess with bees in the wild. Mr. Derek is a professional, okay? So yeah, I know the he difference. Said it's okay. Between, <laughs> I, I know the difference between a so boy and a girl. So I just kind of like pulled him. Just, just like that. Just oh, I nice. just vibrating. Nice and easy. There you go. Now you gotta, and he'll probably just stay right on your hand. A hive has one queen bee, Just right? Just one. Just one And queen. these are all her daughters. These are all her daughters. That's a lot of kids, huh? A lot of kids. <laughs> and then she does have boys, and we seen one of those earlier going around. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger. So do you want to know the lifespan of a bee? Yeah. So these guys only live six weeks. So the girls that we're seeing here only have a maximum life of six weeks. The boy that we seen earlier, and there's some other boys down here in the pile, uh, they can live three months. Now the queen, the one that does everything, she can live up to three to seven years. Bees do a special dance to tell their friends where to find yummy flowers. It's like a dance party. They wiggle and shake their body in a special way to show the directions of the flower. So the dance helps the bees find the best place to collect nectar and make honey. Did you see them eating the honey? Come closer, look. They're gathered right here and eating the honey. So even if we make a mistake and drip it, they, they clean it up. not go to waste. Is it true that bees don't sleep? I heard that before. They don't sleep, not very often. Sleep? I so. can't imagine not sleeping. <laughs> I'd be very tired. The honeycomb, or in Spanish, panal, is where the bees store honey. It's made up of lots and lots of tiny, six-sided shapes called hexagons. Bees are super good at building things. They use hexagons because it's the best way to store their honey. It's like building with special honey bricks. <laughs> so the honeycomb, it feels like if you touch your Crayola or a candle, it kind of feels like that. When the mommy bee, called the queen bee, lays her eggs, these baby bees start as larvae. They look like tiny little white worms. They stay in the brood chamber. Let's go take a look. So the baby bees, the larva in Spanish is called larva. And that is that little white part right inside there. This is actually really good. There's a whole bunch. Oh, of there's a lot of them here. There's so many inside. It's very important that we keep the pollinators alive and we take care of the bees because all the local plant species that you see the bees are collecting all this pollen and going into the box. That is so important for our environment. Yeah. Because otherwise, it looked like the desert. You guys know what the desert looks like? Mm -hmm. No trees, no plants, and it's hot. Yes. So all these plants that you see around, all the way down to the grass that's right here in the apiary, see these little flowers? These are weeds, but these little tiny flowers right here are pollinated by the bees. So to have this beautiful grass and have the greenery here, we need the bees to be able to do that. So bees, what they do is they gather the pollen from one flower, and then when they go to the next, that's when they pollinate that flower, right? That's right. So it's basically grabbing a little sprinkle of this flower and a little bit of this one, and they mix it around everywhere. They kind of allow it to continue to grow. And by doing what that, they, do. they allow the grass to grow, the trees, all the delicious things that we enjoy at the store. Yes, like our oranges, tomatoes, right? tomatoes blueberries. Oh, they're so yummy. <laughs> yeah. Antelope, and if you guys like almond milk, Almonds are 100% codependent on bees. Wow, I did not know that. And just like any animal, like a dog or a cat, if you're nice to them, they'll be nice to you. So yeah. be nice to bees, no swatting, don't throw stuff at them, there's no use for pesticides or sprays on bees, just let them do what they do. Nice. And these beautiful creatures will fly everywhere and take care of your environment. That's awesome. I took off all my protective wear because we're all done with the bees. Let's go visit the animals. Hi, friends. <laughs> Look at him. We're here with my friend, Kevin Bacon and Falcor. Kevin is a cerdo. And Falcor is a cabra. Let me go ahead and see if he sits down. There you go. How do I hand this to him? 
I'm so, I got. He won't get you. <laughs> Mama's over there. That's oh a big one. Oh my god, they're big. Hi, Balam. Here, friend. Not my fingers. Just grab and run. You guys are so loud. <laughs> Whoa. Thank you so much for teaching my friends and I about honeybees. Thanks for coming to our farm and learning about honeybees and getting to see our farm animals. And you got to meet Kevin Bacon. I did get to meet Kevin Bacon. He's so cute. <laughs> and we had so much fun. And we can't wait. Hopefully we can come back and learn some more. Absolutely. Come back and learn some more about bees and learn more about honey. What a great time at the bee farm. We learned about the bees, abejas, the honey, miel, and the beehive, their home, which is called the colmena, and all the other wonderful animals. I am so happy you got to join me. Until next time on Adventures with Amiga.